Hello, in this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation. We have x minus 4 or power 4 equals to x power 4. And we are solving for the value of x, both complex and real, that will satisfy this equation. So let's start. What we are going to do is, we can actually write this as we have x minus 4 power 2 all power 2. You know, if you multiply 2 times 2, you are going to have 4. And we can actually rearrange this equation and have minus x power 2 all power 2. And this is equals to 0. Same way, you can multiply 2 by 2 and you are going to have 4. So what we are going to do next is we can use difference of 2 squares if you have a squared minus b squared, this is equals to we have a minus b times a plus b. And in this case, a is equals to the whole of this, x minus 4 power 2. And b is equals to what we have here, x power 2. So we proceed, we are going to make use of this particular identity right now. A minus B, that means we are going to have X minus 4, power 2, that is A minus B is X squared. Then we have times A plus B, we write the same thing again, X minus 4 power 2, then this is plus b, so we are going to have plus b is what? x squared. And this is equals to 0. This is getting interesting. What next are we going to do? Let's actually expand this bracket. So if we have x minus 4, power 2, this will give us x minus 4 power 2 is simply equals to x squared minus 8x plus 16. So that means we are going to replace x minus 4 power 2 with this. Okay, so that means we have our bracket again. We are going to have x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus x squared, this x squared now, then we have times, we have the same thing here again, x squared minus 8x plus 16, this time around we have plus x squared, and this thing is all equals to what? 0. So we go further. What next? X squared here will cancel negative x squared here. So we have negative 8x plus 16. Then what happens here? We have x squared here and we have plus x squared here. We are going to have 2x squared. Then we have minus 8x plus 16. And this is equals to 0. So from here, we are going to have two different equations. We are going to have 8x plus 16 equals to 0. Or we are going to have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals to 0. So if you consider this first equation, if you have negative 8x, plus 16 equals to 0, that means you are going to have negative 8x equals to negative 16, right? The next thing is to divide all through by negative 8, negative 8, negative 8 cancels negative 8, you have x equals to, this negative cancels negative here, and you have 2. 
that means x is equals to 2 is one of the solutions. Now we are going to solve this particular quadratic equation to find the other solutions. Now let's do that. From here you can actually divide each of these terms by 2 because we have 2 here, we have 8 here and we have 16. This 8 is negative so let's divide by 2 to make it a bit simple to work with. So you are going to have x squared minus 4x plus 8 equals to 0. So we are now working with this now. Then the next thing is we can make use of formula method to solve this quadratic equation. So we have x equals to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And from here we have a equals to 1, b equals to negative 4, and c equals to 8. So let's fix that in here. x equals to negative 4. This is negative b, so we are going to have 4 plus or minus b squared. That is negative 4 squared. We have 16 minus 4ac. 4 times 1 times 8, that is 32. Divided by 2 times 1, that is 2. And this is equals to, we are going to have 4 plus or minus root of negative 16 minus 32 is negative 16 divided by 2. So what again? x equals to 4 plus or minus we have root of 16 times root of negative 1. divided by what? 2. I mean, we are going to have x equals to 4 plus or minus root of 16 is 4 root of negative 1 is i divided by 2. So from here now, you can have x is equals to divide everything by 2. We have 2 plus or minus 2i. So this becomes the complex solutions of this particular equation. And the real solution we had, let me go back, to was, was this, x equals to 2. So you have x equals to 2, and we have x equals to 2 plus or minus 2i. So that's it for the video. Thank you, and goodbye.